All right, here we are. The wine cellar. Oh. The sun gave way to his tired body, so he fell from the camel's back. Oh, sorry, as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. He needed some lip balm. Now in here... Never mind. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us with a wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> now in here it's very dark, and I'm losing sanity steadily. As you can see, my head, my head is pounding and my hands are shaking. And if I lose too much sanity, then I'll start falling down and whimpering or whatever. And, uh, then it will be very upset. But I don't really care, because this area is safe. So if I do take out my lantern, it'll probably just be... Because I can't see. body parts. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words in my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to, ca to the castle Brennenberg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I had been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came quickly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I have brought men, women, and children to Rinnenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming, their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer... This is really a cheery game. So what I've been doing is picking up these alchemical ingredients. So far I have cuprite and aqua regia, which is a really virulent poison. I think virulent's the word. No, that, or does that mean green? I can't remember. No, virulent means green. It's a very strong poison. There goes the ceiling. Ah, no! Barrels, get off my head! You are containers for wine, you are not hats. You do not belong on my head. My sanity is dangerously low. There. There we go. Now I'm losing control of the camera because my sanity is so low. Any minute now, for the first time I've ever experienced it, I should be falling down and crawling around on the ground. Oil. It's my lantern that I'm not bothering to use because I'm mean to Daniel.
fact. You see, the sanity simply says ellipsis right now. If I fall on the ground, I will go back to head is pounding and hands are shaking. And I will gain a sanity boost for opening this door. So, it would be in my best interest, actually, to let myself collapse. Besides, I've never experienced it, and I'm curious what happens. It'll give me some time to look around, enjoy the twisting, writhing balls and such. This should be me! Actually, screw it, I'm too impatient. Oh, no, here I go. Crawling time. Ow, that thing really hurts my ears. Now, one thing to import uh one thing important to note is that that isn't actually good for you if there's a gatherer hunting you. Because they will go into search mode if you collapse. See, I've been in there, been in there, been in there. What? Oh, what's in here? Open. Open. Alright, maybe you don't open. What's in here? Ah, ooh. Here we're going to have another encounter with the gatherer. Laudanum. And there it is. Now we hide in the corner and don't look at it. If you look at it, you lose sanity. You can lean. Oh, there it is. Still there? There it is, still there. Let's hope it goes away. Now, this is a purely cinematic thing, so it shouldn't attack you unless you actively go looking for it. Go away! So we'll just wait for this nasty music to stop. While the sanity drains. It would really suck if I ran out of sanity and collapsed while this thing was around. Oh, I think it's gone. It's a purely cinematic encounter, but if you're stupid and run at it, then it will attack you. To the best of my knowledge. Now I'm back on the lowest sanity setting. Oh, hey, Tinderbox. I believe it was Yahtzee Croshaw who asked if uh, you lose your contact lenses the moment you start to go insane. It does seem to be the, uh, the effect. And where is that fourth chemical? You know, if I were a chemist, I might be able to tell you what everything we're picking up does. Oh, there it is. There. Back to crystal clear sanity. Now we can leave this wretched place. Now, technically, I'm doing things out of order. But this is the most efficient order in which to do things. Back to the entrance hall. He sat down by the Kazbah wall, gasping for air. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand-veiled ground. Ah, I was trying to avoid that, damn it. Now to the laboratory. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on SS Hortensio headed for London. Beat you. Take that. And now I'm going to pause here. See you.